Hold on one second. I just want to get out of here and say um, thanks for having me on. And um, I said uh, I'm still Chief X, the God Best reincarnated. And I just want to <laughs> let everybody know the God Best is the greatest Egyptian deity that ever lived. The God mm. Best will whoop all, whoop all their butts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to do a on the best, by the way. Oh, wait, wait, I have to ask Chief X. Chief X, is that you? Yes, sir. Who's that? You, Come on, you on. Say cool. You know, I, remember when you was, I remember when you was on, on the right side of history. <laughs> you know, let me let me just <laughs> say to like say I had a debate with you. you. <laughs> what hold thing? Up, hold up. J Jabari just performed a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cheap, reincarnated. I came back. Okay. Let, let, Go, me, let me say this. I'm say happy to hear that. Pan African, you echoing, baby. Let, yeah, let's say Ku say something. He haven't said anything yet. Go ahead, say Ku. Yes, peace and blessing, family. Hold Greetings. Hold on, hold on before you go, say Ku. Yeah, let me just say Somebody before you let me say cool. I want to apologize. Ahead, just hold that thought. No, ahead, I just ahead, wanted to apologize on the part of the Pan Africans in America for the um, oh. what was said to you, brother. Um, that's that's not something that we're trying to um we're not trying to fragment our people um like before with um you know saying things like go back to Africa. So I just wanted to apologize for my uh, American Pan Africans, okay? So that's all I wanted to say. Not, not Hold on, let me say it better, myself, Pan African okay. James. Go back to Africa and take me with you. <laughs> take me with you, brother. I'm coming, I, I need to come with He's you. So correct, correct. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Take me too. That's better. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> take me too. Yeah, you take me too. <laughs> whenever, whenever they tell me go back to Africa, I just laugh because I hear the European in them speaking. Yeah. Not them. Because this is what the European keeps saying to them. So they are repeating, regurgitating the same thing. I got land. I'm from Liberia. I got property in Liberia. Ooh. I have I, I, I have my land. I, I, I go back to Liberia all the time. So I don't understand. When you say <laughs> go back to Africa, what are you talking about? I go back all the time. I got my family. I got property. You know? One of these days, I'll come get Jabari and take him to Liberia. So what I haven't been to about? Liberia. I want to come, brother. Yeah. So, um, gentlemen, you see what's happening yesterday. I was day before yesterday. We've been going through all this. Let us be sincere to ourselves. We can't build a community without discipline, without saying the truth to each other. What Brother Garfield did was very wrong. And to see people backing him up, even if you disagree with Jabari, you should be honest enough, intellectual honesty. It's very, very important. This is what is needed. We need to look at each other and say, brother, I love you, but you are wrong. We've all been out there. The Jabari went out of his way to help with the technical difficulties. He was he didn't have to do it, but he was there. And this brother was called and said, come and join the debate. He said, oh, now something went wrong. I can't join. All that time, you had all that time to call and say, I'm sorry, I have family emergency. I can't. You did it before on the eve of Christmas, and they granted your request. So why do you think if you do it again, they won't grant your request? Right. It's obvious he didn't want to attend the debate, and he had a reason for it, just to come back later and put up flyers and, and, and laugh at all of us. Because if he was sincere, he would have come out and state an apology and then just go offline. But he came out there and make caricatures and make some kinds of posters and start defending and start even mocking Jabari who came out to speak. This is insincere. This is indiscipline. And for me, I was really sad when I heard yesterday, Sarneda wanted to give him time to come and speak. I was very sad that Sarneda shouldn't have done that. What he has done is very wrong. He needs to come and apologize. Don't give him cake. Don't give him cold water to cool down. No, he's wrong. That's all. Don't babysit him. Yeah. You see? And say cool. I've person, never heard I, of I, I'm one of I've, the persons, I don't like personality court. I've never, I joined a political party in my country. I was the diaspora leader of Economic Freedom Fight of Liberia here in the diaspora, but I resigned because there was an idea to raise a personality court. I'm always, I love democratic ideas. But Jabari, it's someone we should appreciate in our community. It's not a personality court issue. I don't know the brother. We've never spoken on phone. 
Right. Have you hear, ever heard this brother get angry and start calling people nigger on, on, on the channel? Never. Right. Have you ever heard him, even no matter how you get under his skin, start insulting you using street language? He has never done that. He has maintained discipline. This is the model our, our youth are looking for. This is the role model the young people are looking for. You may not agree with him. You don't have to agree with the strand of my heart. But you should see the discipline in the man. If every scientist will be like Ank, I don't want to be a scientist. <laughs> I'm telling you the yeah. truth. Hey, I say cool. I've, I've, yeah. I've never she heard, I've never it. seen, I'm, 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 I'm going to get out of here. I just want to say this. I've never heard anybody schedule a funeral on Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay. You know, that's it. We've had impossible story. So for me, really, thank you, Jabari, for what you've done. And we we'll continue to build a community. For me, what I always tell people when it comes to ancient Kush and Kemet, I tell all Black people, you don't have, Egypt is not a ancient Kemet or Kush. The study of this civilization is not a religious theology. Yeah, there is spirituality in it. If you want to study, that's fine. But as Diop said, Kush Kemet is to Africa where Greco-Roman civilization is to Europe. How is that difficult for you to understand? The, uh, one of the most important, uh, one of the modern leader of France, uh, General de Gaulle, he said, French, first of all, is about the white race, the uh, Greco-Roman civilization and the Judeo-Christian value. He said, that's what we stand on. We're ready to die for it. The entire Europe, they stand on Greco-Roman civilization. They stand on, their, on, on, on these values. Whether you're from Italy, you're from Germany, they don't care. Every one of them begin with the Greco-Roman civilization. Yeah. Were they all Greeks? Were they all Romans? No. Mm -hmm. Do white Americans have any genetic link to Greco-Roman people? No, they don't. But when we revive an African civilization, then you ask, oh, are you Egyptian? Are you, are you from <laughs> Nubia? Did you ask the president of USA if he's a Greek? Mm -hmm. Did you ask him when you are using democracy that you will talk about every day? Are you a Greek? Mm. So it's ridiculous what people are doing. This civilization belongs to us, and we have to revive it. If you want to be spirit, you want to explore spirituality, go and explore your classical spirituality. If you want to advance in philosophy, go and begin with Amenemope. Go and begin with all these great philosophers. Go and begin with them. They, 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 they. The beginning of African intellectual inquiry, according to Moleficatia Sante, should be the pyramid of Egypt and not the Odyssey and Iliad of, 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 of Greek and Rome. This is what we are trying to tell you. Be whatever religion you want to be, but honor your ancestral legacy and inspire, get inspired with it. This is all we want. And what I'll say lastly before I hang up, we will not always agree. There will be no day in history where all black people will practice African spirituality. It's not going to happen anymore. Let us not deceive ourselves. There will be no day in history where we all will go to the same temple. But there's one thing we can do. We can put our interests first as a people. Mm. We can value our civilization, even when we disagree with certain elements within it. We can value our ancestral culture and build something that protects every black child everywhere. This is all we're looking for. Thank you. Mm. Say cool. Say cool. Before you go, I want to say something to you, brother. I've heard you speak many times before, a couple of times on Sarnetta. I'm the old timer out of the, the bunch here, but uh, man, what I see in you is intelligence. You got a strong mm -hmm. head, and and you you love and believe in your people, no matter if the, your people are here in in America, the Africans here in America, the Africans in France. Wherever the African brothers are, you love them. And I can tell just from the way you talk, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, just keep hooking up with uh, people like on this panel right now because this is what we need mm -hmm. to get. You know, we, we, we need to get in contact with the rest of our brothers and sisters that don't quite understand. I heard somebody said, I won't call the name, but you, you're going to know who I'm talking about. That, uh, hey, this is not your people. You know, speak on your people and let us speak on our people. You know, See. I thought that was so wrong and it just hurt me so bad because we are ancestors, where, where our ancestors come from Africa, right where you live at. And, uh, you know, I've been thinking and, and just, just, just trying to 
realize, you know, what it was all about. And uh, I learned through the slavery and all of that. You know, I, I got a good understanding of it now. But uh, uh, I just appreciate you, man. That's all I want to say. And just keep doing what you're doing. Let me, let me say something real quick, if I may. Uh, yeah, can I have a... Okay, go ahead, brother. Sekou, you have to realize you're, you're, um, you're part of what Marcus Garvey had envisioned anyway. You're in the place he tried to take us to, which is Liberia, and mm -hmm. he wanted a global African uh, uh, mind. And so you are African mind speaking on this continent. At no point in time should we feel okay to say, go back to Africa, unless, like I said, it's followed by the phrase, please take me with you when you go. <laughs> so you are that dream realized when you come over here. We are that dr dream realized when we go over there. When we have good discourse, then it starts to become a realization. So Correct. anybody trying to step on that just because... Man, you ain't going to my project solving no problems. Mm. So what? <laughs> if you're the path to your projects, take me there. Let's see. Let's find out. Let's see what's there. Because if you help solve the issues that were happening in Liberia, you definitely can relate to a solution that's happening in Brownsville. Mm. You can definitely relate to a situation that's happening in Oakland or mm. L.A. or Harlem. 144 for Saint. We could take you anywhere. We just finished watching documentaries with General Butt Naked, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We know what's going on. So anytime an African voice is raised against another in that fashion, we have to put our foot down. So when Shaka brought it up, I was like, "Brother, we talking about Kanano," but it was a necessary point, and so I, I had this. I, I just shut up. I sat back. I let it go down and I, <laughs> I was like, this is going to derail the conversation, but it apparently needed to be had because I didn't even hear him say that because I didn't see his show the other day. So and, and just in case you don't know what we're talking about, Brother Seku, just earlier, uh, I'm sorry if, if you didn't finish your sign, uh, earlier I was on Smash Rock where an uncle was on there. And because I was <laughs> told that he told you to go back to Africa, I said, you know, Ankh, I was told you said that. And he said, yes. And I said, why would you say that? So we spoke, and uh, and that's why I made a video earlier entitled um, um, Brother Onk Change, but I still got love for him. And other people also told him, including Smash, that, you know, he's wrong about that. They don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah, and that, I mean, hurt, that, that brothers, hurts me too. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, come on, no. And, like, yeah. and, and if I hear some continental Africans saying to Ankh, oh, uh, go back to America, or you don't have mm -hmm. no, I, I wouldn't like that either, you know, that, that, yeah, that, that's works. too much for me, you know, so I got love for Ankh, but on this one, on this one, I cannot agree, it's not, it's not possible, just like when, yeah, that's why I felt, that's yeah, why I felt ahead. like it was, that I should apologize, even though it's not coming from him, I felt that it was necessary, because that, that hurt me when I heard that, I, I know what Dr. Clark told us, we are stronger together. Like, why would you disassociate yourself from a billion people of your people? And you are, you are only 48, 48 million. Why we, we are stronger together than apart. Dr. Clark taught us that. So for him to say that, it just, like, it's like, did he, did he hear what Dr. Clark said? You know what I'm saying? Because I even though I've never met Dr. Clark and Dr. Ben, those are my teachers because I follow the history that they provided to our people after being lost. I value that. I love them. I'm, 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 I'm um, embarrassed that they were on the planet when I was on the planet and didn't know, know of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is what I have to deal with after them, um, after what happened. You know what I'm saying? What happened to us is, tra is a traumatic thing. And for us to be arguing about what, what we're going through instead of coming with the solution base, and a lot of us, well, we're in agreement on things on this panel. I think that we would have a better conversation trying to figure out how to help Jabari instead mm -hmm. of trying to how, trying to tear him down. Mm -hmm. Because when they, right. closed, when they closed down those temples, they closed down our economic system. They, and they opened up theirs. So we have to Shaka. understand that those temples are, are part of our war chest. And we had 
just imagine if we were not giving our money tied into Christianity and Islam, and we were mm. all tied into an African structure. We could pay for our own war chest, and we could defend ourselves. We would be a lot stronger. But they 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 got us into their system, and we're paying into their system, and we're actually paying for our own slaves. Mm. That's the way I see it. So <laughs> with that right. said, I yield. Yeah, brother Shaka, you see, I'm not hurt when you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I. How I, they call it? One of the brother who first told me go back to Africa. It's not really Ang. It's is um, uh, Reggie. Can you believe that Reggie was the first to it's tell me? Go, yeah. Don't, he said he said don't speak on African American. You should go go back to Africa. You don't know. You say your grandma. You don't know your your African grandma. God, you know whatever he said. So That's I said, right. you are here studying. Student of Dr. You are here studying the pharaohs of Egypt. You are studying the Medunetta. You are studying, and you are telling me to go back as if it's some nasty place that I should. I, I, you are trying to tell me to go, and that's where you are studying. That's what you do all day on the internet. So you are being, you are the contradiction is right in front of you. <laughs> I'm just your brother. You like it, you don't like it. It's not something, it's not a choice. I'm your brother. You mm -hmm. like it, you don't like it, that it is what it is. If okay. people could choose what genetic, uh, line that should come from maybe some people will have chosen spirits but they won't choose certain people but that's how <clears> nature says you'll be my brother and that's it you know in africa there are people who think yeah. like that as well in recent when the ghana year of return finished they were interviewing people on the street and they were like what did we gain did we gain more money uh did we gain so i was like what the heck they were talking about what they gain yeah what money they got. So the same thing you see over there is not just unique to african American. In Africa, we have our garbage as well. We right. got them among us. They don't know what time it is. Yeah. They don't know what we are talking about. They yeah. don't know there's an existential threat on the melanin scheme. They don't understand the struggle. Mm. The thing is about all these petty stuff they're talking about. Our entire existence has been threatened in the last 500 years. And mm. we are here joking, talking about you go back there and you go over there. The black man is the same, whether he's in India, he's in China, he's in America, he's in Africa. His condition is the same. The same threat we all are facing. Mm. So the thing is beyond that. So I don't blame when they say I laugh, because I know we have some of them in Africa as well who don't know the contribution of African Americans to the entire black race. They don't even know about it. But you know, they so don't even know. You know, Sekou, you I, so I, I, I understand. You know, I, 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 I spoke to Reggie uh, actually when I was inside the studio about that thing, and um, he, he, he. I don't want to get into his personal, you know, situation with health, but he was contaminated with the virus called Garfield virus. That's why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to acknowledge the presence of a, a Dagger Squad member. Uh, this is um, Rob Bourne. Uh, and uh, he wrote, oh, damn, it's a world tour. But if it was the other way around, they will be doing a world tour right now. They will be screaming victory, and they will not accept any uh, uh, excuses. But um, Rob Bourne, I want to say my condolences for the death of your uh, Dagger Squad. And <laughs> you see, I'm still learning your theology, your teaching, Asafa Muhammad, the Indian guy. But, you know, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Go ahead, if brother I, Jabari. If I could add something really small um, to what Seiko, whenever Seiko uh, speaks, I think he's younger than me. And I'm going to say he makes me feel better about what direction we might be going in, right? Mm -hmm. so, but, yeah, but I'd be really proud. You know, yeah, let me man. Say that it's, it's really a shame when people make those comments because, first of all, they sound like, you know, the, the Bull Connors and others, the, the um, Tom who white racist who were um, turning water hoses on us, right? So now they're mouthing the words of their oppressor, right? Which is sad. But the other part of it that is so amazing to me is that some folks who say those things don't seem to recognize that when we are able to connect Africans throughout the world, we'll then truly be able to solve the, the problems in the Harlem in the, in the Harlems, in the Detroits, in the Philadelphias, in the Chicago's, all throughout the United States and all throughout the world. The reality is that the global model is what everyone else is using to empower so themselves. If you just look at China, China moved 
500,000 people out of That's poverty right. in 20 years. It's unheard of. It should be called the Chinese miracle. <laughs> and one of the ways they did that is by becoming more involved internationally and particularly in Africa. We have to recognize that instead of trying to say that we are different, That's of right. course we have differences. We should be saying, what are our similarities? And as we see our similarities, we will see our successes. When you go to the Congo, when you go to South Africa, when you go to places that are rich in mineral wealth, when you go to Nigeria, you're going to see a, caval, a, a cast of, of European characters sitting to try to control resources. And they're trying to bring those powerful resources back to where they are. They're embracing a global model. Unfortunately, it's a neo-colonialist model. Mm -hmm. And so when we think that we should just talk about what's happening here in the hood, we don't seem to realize that that's exactly what they've wanted us to do. They want that's us to right. do things as problems on this block. And I, I don't, I, you know, the thing that really pains me is some of the people that are mouthing it are folks that used to be able to educate our people. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure what happened. It, it feels like they all, because they hate me so much, they're willing to say ridiculous things. But I'm not sure what happened that has that has twisted them in this manner, that they now they say things against their teachers, against their ancestors, against their people. I'm not, how did this happen? I would much rather work with Ankh, work with Reggie, work with Rob Horn, work with Garfield, I would much rather work with them than to argue with them. They but disagree I, with you historically, Jabari. I, so you're, I, not gonna be able, you're not going to be able to do that. Feel. See, what we got to realize, Jabari. I didn't is think he, they did. It's now that I feel that way. I okay. didn't think that we were on the different page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it all came out. So it's just a historical difference. And see, like, we think that this is just some type of history thing that we're talking about. But this is actually for real. These people are actually Hebrews. And we need to start treating these people accordingly. Mm. They're enemies of the state. Mm. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? They 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 believe that they're Hebrew, but mm. they don't want to use the chronology of history. Like I was talking to a Hebrew on another show, and I asked him, "How do he die? How does he um, deal? How does he start his history with the with the Adam and Eve story or a rib story? When you know, because you've been listening to us for like a year now, when you know." There's this history, this 2,000 years before that. Why are you stuck there? Why don't you discard that and go back to something that's, that predates it by 2,000 years? Yeah. Does that not make sense for us as a people? Because all that we're looking for is the chronology of history. Dr. Clark and Dr. Ben, Sheikh Abdul Diop, they put us on this trajectory. I don't understand what, what's taking us so long to do something I think is simple. I only have a high school education, and I get it. So I don't understand... We don't have to get a college education to understand chronology. Somebody gave us a chronology of 2,000 years. We got a history of 6,000 years. How hard is it? <laughs> yeah. You're right. Hey, one thing I want to say, and I'm going to shut up, y'all. I just got to say something to Jabari. I, I don't want to, I couldn't do it if I wanted to, but I don't want to make you feel small, Jabari, just because I said something to Seku. And uh, I don't, Looks like Sekou left, but uh, Jabari, man, I've been watching you a long time, bro. I, I, I think I uh, came to your Facebook page and I said something and you got right back with me, you know, yeah. and I, 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 I was surprised about that. I say, you know, I used to watch you on Sunnet and uh, I say, man, I, I, I just saw that this was his page and I just wanted to go check it out and see what he's doing and what he's really all about because I like the way he talked, you know. He, the brother's mannerable, you know, uh, that's the way I was brought up to you, my grandma mm -hmm. like that. Went to church, and mm -hmm. I wanted to say something about this church thing, too, a while back, but uh, it's gone now. But the way they taught us in church that Jesus was a part of that trinity, man. You know, he was Jesus, he was man, and he was God. That, they taught us all that stuff. I mean, you know, he could he could walk through walls, you know. I mean, they, they really had us messed up, man. I'm going to be honest with you. And, uh, that that's just crazy, and uh, I'm glad that that's over with with me now because, you know, that's just out of my system now. But uh, mm. bro, I just wanted to say that uh, 
I appreciate you more than anything, but just mainly for just hanging in there fighting because that's what it's all about. You're going to get hit. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get talked about. And I look, I've been looking for a while, and it's just like the young man said earlier. All that stuff that they done threw at you, man, but you're always standing there. You, I've seen you get a little ir irritated, but you never broke stride. You know, you never let it get you out of whack the way you start doing like a lot of us. And I put myself there, too, because I can get there, too. You get the cussing and fussing and calling names and talking about your mama and everything else. You know, I've never seen you do that. I say, this brother here, he got charisma. It's something he got that uh, a lot more of our people need to have and whatever I can do to help promote him and uh, just be a part of what he's doing. I, I would love that. And uh, I'm just glad that we got a chance to... Uh, to meet now and I'm, I'm james powell man and uh, i'll be commenting in the chat some of the stuff i say some of the people don't like because I, I try to be straight up i'm like shocker i'm gonna just tell it like it is i like to tell the truth but the truth hurts sometimes man yeah. you know <laughs> it, it don't feel good and I, i'm gonna leave it alone now i'm through with it he got that my Do I have Now, for the record, for those who don't know, I am giving medical nature classes, and here, that's the flyer. Okay. So, those who are interested, feel free to holler at me. If you're not interested, it's cool. But I recommend everybody. I recommend that everybody who has not yet seen the video Kemet and Ma'at before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, then watch it. It has about 300,000 views and really deserves to have a lot more. Um, I just want to let everyone know who's going to, who's, who's going to, uh, who's listening in now and who's going to listen to this, uh, this, uh, stream in the future. I just had a, my first Meta Netcha class by Brother Shaka today and I've had other uh, Meta Netcha lessons by other teachers and I can tell you right now the brother is the best in the game he is uh, that, that was one of the best classes I've ever had ever so if you're interested in learning the Meta Netcha if you're interested in getting the basics of it, Brother Shaka is an awesome teacher. Get with him, and it's extremely affordable. This brother is giving us his time and his skills, and he's basically giving it away. I mean, I, you know, I just consider it a donation. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody is interested in learning the better nature, get with this brother right here. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome teacher. And I'll end with that. Hotep Senu, Hena Senut. This is Julie, also known as Servant of Yah, and I'm currently taking the Medu Netra classes with Brother Shaka, and it has been an amazing experience. Only two lessons so far, and I feel like um, I've been taking the classes for months, just with the uh, how in-depth he goes into the vocabulary words, um, the construction of the language, the grammar. Um, it's been immeasurable. Um, the experience. And one thing that comes across hands down is his uh, extreme passion for teaching this to anyone who is willing to learn and has a, a, an interest in learning. So I highly suggest um, if you are interested, even a minimal interest, that uh, you subscribe to the classes with Brother Shaka um, it's such a nominal amount for how much you get. Uh, I know like our last class was uh, over two and a half hours. It felt like two minutes, but because that's how, you know, involved you are in what he's teaching and how he teaches and how compassionate he is about what he teaches. Um, also with sharing materials free of charge, uh, no question, no doubt. Um, it's just what he does. He doesn't have to, but he does. And so I just wanted to give a short testimonial um, about the class and the effectiveness of the class. And uh, all of that is attested to uh, how studied 
Brother Shaka is. Um, so I highly recommend anyone with a minimal interest that you do sign up for the Medrunetia class. Hotep. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is Ma'at Forever. Don't forget to watch the video entitled Kemet and Ma'at. Don't forget to share Kemet and Ma'at for my channel on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or other social media that you use. Email, text messages, you name it. Those who wish to donate can do so on paypal.me slash maatforever.